Hello everyone, hope you guys are doing very great so far. So today I would like to hop on and share about probably by far the most complicated situation that we will be seeing in a rehab setting. It's a condition called the Complex Regional Pain Syndrome, CRPS. It has many different names, but then it's thought of as something related to a traumatic event which aggravates the sympathetic nervous system and then that can cause extremely extremely pain the patient is experiencing and because of that the typical presentation is that the pain is actually way more intense than the actual injury itself the patient might have just a minor cut a minor fall or not even have a very specific injury in their hands or their feet. It might be somewhere else, to the shoulder, to the neck, but then they are experiencing e extreme pain in their hands or your feet. And that's a very challenging situation. And from my past experience as an occupational therapist, some patients even told me that there are doctors saying that they made that up. They didn't have that pain. They just made that up in their brain. There are also people saying that it was just their imagination. But first off, I would like to just to say that no, you did not make that up. What you are experiencing is true. We acknowledge that and we are here assuring you that there are help and solutions that are available to you. That's the first thing I would like to talk about. And the second thing I would like to talk about is why this is a very challenging situation. It's because that the condition CRPS does not really follow a specific pattern. It doesn't follow like a nerve root pattern, a dermatome, myotome, or any neurological examination can categorize that into, which makes it a bit harder to be diagnosed. And then it's also having many different types of symptoms because the sympathetic nervous systems are being involved. Some of the symptoms may include that the patient's hands or feet are extremely hot or extremely cold or some color changes like redness or looking blue that was because of some blood circulation being affected extreme swelling hair losses hair growth or nail losses nail growth very different presentation and oftentimes they will have a lot of joint stiffness like they cannot really move or have a lot of range of motion, mainly stopped by pain. But then they cannot really link to a traumatic event that's more specific or relevant to that situation, which I said earlier, the, the mechanism of injury can be very, very irre irrelevant to look like, which is why it's hard for them to be diagnosed and then be treated very early on. It's a very complicated situation. And so that's the reason why a lot of the treatment it doesn't show like as much of a research findings or effective treatment to treat this condition. It's because all of these patients, when they are finally being categorized or diagnosed into CRPS, it's because they probably failed a hundred other different types of treatment. And then they finally were categorized into this condition, which is sadly one of the limitations in the medical field we are still having now. But I would like to share with you a little bit of the stories of two ladies I've been seeing lately. The first one is that she just randomly had a thumb pain waking up one day. She, the only thing she can remember was like she had a long car ride on her road trip which is not a traumatic event at all but then her thumb got flared up very very bad like she described it as a 10 out of 10 pain and also she described it as like she couldn't move her thumb or wrist at all and then when she came in i felt that her hand was extremely hot it looks red it looks very very swollen range of motion was very limited which um, very typical presentation of that and we did one session talk a lot about stress loading which is one of the most 
common treatment approach we are using to handle this condition. And then just within one session, we are able to help her to drop her pain from 10 out of 10 to 3 out of 10. And then the next time when she comes in, when she came in, her range of motion was almost normal, like 80 or 90 percent to her other side of the hand, which is extremely, extremely better of the result in just one session. The early recognition. Because she came in the next day or two days later after developing that condition, we were able to start a treatment very quickly. And then so we were able to take care of her condition immediately. A lot of the reason why CRPS is a very challenging situation is because most of the patients, when they finally receive the proper treatment, it's already at least like four or five months or years later, which already made the condition very, very chronic and it's hard to deal with. So early recognition and early treatment is the key to effectively manage CRPS. That's the first point I would like to talk about. The second point is related to um, the, the other lady. She mentioned to me like, um, she did went through a lot of hassles to finally be diagnosed as having a CRPS. But then her presentation wasn't like very typical. Her doctor said that she didn't lose her nails and so she didn't look like having a CRPS but then finally she still got diagnosed with that. But then that was already several months later. She went to a clinic and then the only treatment she was doing was desensitization. And when the desensitization is not working, they pretty much just discharge her saying that PT cannot help her. So just letting her to do whatever she can to manage that herself. Which is another thing I would like to point out because CRPS, like I said, it's a different, very different presentation, different situation than many other conditions. It's the sympathetic nervous system being affected, which means the treatment is a little bit different. If you just do regular desensitization program that many clinics offering you, it's probably not gonna be affected. It's because the nerves are using different tracks. Normal desensitization program actually would make the condition worse, only making it worse. You are already making it an already angry nervous system to be even angrier by doing inappropriate treatment. The proper treatment is you actually want to put a lot of stress to the joint to give it enough of a stress sensation or we call that the deep pressure sensation which use a totally different nerve pathway into the brain which helps you to inhibit the pain more effectively which is something we did with the second lady. And then she literally said that things would be way, way different if she found the right provider the first hand, which is something I would like to really point about. This condition is challenging, but there are clinicians who are capable of dealing with this. And then you definitely can do better versus wasting months or years of your time suffering from dealing with 10 out of 10 pain every single day. There is a solution for you. And so this is just something I would like to share about. If you are experiencing symptoms that's very, very similar to this condition, not really recalling any traumatic event yourself, but then for some reason, you are just experiencing very, very extreme pain in your hands or in your feet. You are also experiencing some very similar presentation like changed colors, changed nails, changed hair, extreme heat or coldness in your hand, loss of range of motion. You don't even have to meet all of those symptoms, maybe just some of them. You deserve to pay a visit to a qualified occupational therapist to take a look. And then if for real, you are dealing with complex regional pain syndrome, CRPS, there is a solution for you.
as long as you find the right provider. My name is Andy Zan, physical therapist, occupational therapist, as well as a Pilates instructor here in Core Therapy and Pilates. If you have any questions or would like to further discuss your condition, whether it is CRPS like we talk about today, or any other conditions that, that you feel like it's significantly limiting your ability to go through your day-to-day -day life, feel free to give us a call at 512-215-4227 or visit us at therapyandpilates.com or message us, connect with us through social media. We would like to help you. We would like to acknowledge that everything you are experiencing is real. It's not something you made up. And there is a solution for you, but you just need to take action to seek for a solution yourself. That's all I got for today. I hope you guys take care.